Good morning, foodies. I'm going to do a taste test for you. Um, I was making a bagel and I don't have any vegan cream cheese, but I do have Miyoko's, Miyoko Creamery's uh, double cream chives, so I thought this might make a good replacement. So I'm going to try some Miyoko's cheese, and I even know she can't call it cheese, but I'm going to try some Miyoko's cheese for the first time. And if you guys didn't see my um, Austin day trip, go check that out, but I ended up getting this for free, and you can see how over there. So I just opened the box. This is what it looks like. Just a little round of cheese. So I think I think I might have a bowl that this can fit in. So let me go ahead and get it opened up. Um, let my bagel finish toasting, and then I will test it out for you. All right, the bagel's done. I'm gonna try it before I smear it all over my bagel because if I don't like it, I don't want to waste my bagel. Just got a little bit. Trying to decide what that flavor is that I taste. The lady at um, Wheatsville Co-op said it was a little smoky. She thought all of their all of her cheeses were a little smoky. Hey Bubba, what were those those cheeses called? The the ones that you could like put in mashed potatoes like the boars something that had like the herbs and stuff in it borson, borson. Mm -hmm. kind of reminds me of like a borson soft cheese um, has a very strong um, chai flavor to it and herby chai flavor to it it's pretty good um, it's very 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 creamy not salty at all just I think a perfect balance it's pretty tasty so I'm gonna smear a big glob of this on my bagel and then let you know how it tastes with the bagel again this is the uh, classic double cream chive it's probably I'm assuming supposed to mimic a brie since it says it's a double cream. It doesn't really remind me of a brie cheese, it just reminds me of a soft herb cheese um, that you would spread on crackers on like a cheese platter or whatever. Alright, so let me go ahead and get this on my bagel and we'll do another taste test for you. Alright guys, I smeared a big bunch of it on there to taste. So it's warm and kind of melted into the bagel just a little bit. It smells good. Here we go. It's really good and herby and tangy. I think this would be great for like a cheese board for a party. Probably serve it with some crackers and some fruit, like maybe some grapes or some apples, you know, stuff that has like a little bit of a sweet and sour flavor to it. I think it would be really, really good. So this one I think is a thumbs up for me. I will try the sharp cheddar flavor probably another day. I uh, might just try that on just some regular crackers or whatever, but this is really good on a bagel. It just takes a lot. <laughs> Uh, to put on a bagel so this and since this cheese is kind of expensive um, I would recommend it for you know parties and use sparingly I would probably wouldn't use it for my bagel because that's a pretty expensive cream cheese for that round it's $10.99 but thankfully um, I got it for free so that's amazing so I don't mind using it on my bagel but I'm gonna make sure I have some yummy crackers or find some yummy crackers and eat the rest of it that way Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this taste test episode and I will talk to y'all later. Bye. Tiffany, what are you doing? Tiffany, are you in mommy's reusable bags? Huh? What are you doing, pretty girl? Are you being silly? Yeah, you like mommy's bags, huh? I love you. Tiffany. I love you. Oh, thanks. <laughs>